Guys, yes, I'm back. Uh, this is for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 4, Episode 6. It's called Musbands and Wives. So, oh, musbands instead of husbands or wasbands. Oh. No, it's guzbands, whatever. So the episode starts off with Nikki Baby. Nikki Baby, she actually went over to meet up with Hazel because Hazel went and did the whole I am me and you are you type of thing with Chanel West Coast, as I just previously mentioned. And so because of all that, Nikki Baby's like, look, Hazel, I understand Nikki Baby's trying to say what she wants to say without being too direct with Hazel, which is what she does with everyone. She talks around in circles while trying to get her point across. I do that all the time. So I, I see it. I see it. I understand it. We're here. We are here. Now, her issue is she's actually been friends with Chanel Co. She knows her struggles. She knows she actually her and um, Nikki Baby's brother went to the prom or went out. Whatever the case may be, they know each other. So that's why she said Hazel needs to go and give her a chance. And of course, if she comes correct, then you should come correct as well. While that's going on, we have her boyfriend, Rose Burgundy, modeling for her and it's like oh you want that baby you want that but well, you know there's nothing wrong with if you ain't tricking if you got it type of thing i said hazel you're making this look too much like a sugar mama type of situation but you seem to be fine with that so i guess we should be as well i mean if you know what the situation is and he knows what the situation is and we clearly know what the situation is then it's cool as long as the business is right your relationship will be a-okay got it now AD has this girlfriend who's actually more so a best friend. Her name's Tiffany. Tiffany doesn't like Monique. Tiffany's trying to figure out how is Monique all of a sudden gay? How is Monique, you know, from obviously seeing her over the seasons? <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, why did you must you talk about me in my other reviews? Anyway, how's Monique? gone and just done this 180. Uh-uh. Her character is shaky. Her foundation isn't there. So I, I'm not here for it. Next thing we know, exactly in mid sentence, Tiffany's looking like, uh uh. And he's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> this wasn't a part of the script. Moniz comes, interrupts their, you know, little dinner date, and says, oh, we actually have plans as well. Tiffany's whole motto is, you don't make time for me anymore. Yes, your friend has a girlfriend. That's normally what happens. It's messed up, but that's what happens. Moniz is convinced that Tiffany still has real feels for, um, for AD. AD's like, nah, okay, yeah, we did do something once, and that's how we know, nah, because after we did that one thing, mm -mm. but you know, sometimes the grass looks greener on the other side. Now she's cuffed up. Y'all are a little bit older. Maybe she's thinking, well, you know, if something pops off, then that'd be really cool. Or she could be just one of those where it's like, I don't like her for you. Uh, you, need to, you need to cut it. Because that's how some friends are. Some friends are like, no, nah, I, I don't see for that one. No, 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 no. It's definitely because of X, Y, and Z. So no, 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 no. You're not going to be friends. Excuse me? I have my own opinion. Who are you? I, I know you're my friend, but excuse you? So then we see Solo Lucci. He's talking to his... I believe her name is Jasmine. That's his baby mama. And Jasmine just puts out there all the information that we do know. Solo Lucci has treated her like ish. And Solo Lucci, he, he wasn't even there to sign the birth certificate because his priorities were somewhere else. He says that, no, it's not because I wasn't committed. It was because I was in a situation before where, you know, another woman was saying that I was the baby daddy, but it turned out I wasn't. I said, er. You're 22 years old. I am older than you. I just turned 24, Leo season. I just, just turned 24. And you're telling me that... How many times has this happened now? Because this is ridiculous. This is... And you just met Alexis Sky one month prior. Allegedly one month prior. And I had a pregnancy scare. There is something wrong over there. There's something very wrong over there. Again, she's saying he ain't this. He's like, yeah, I kind of know. But yeah, why are you going and doing all this stalking stuff? She says, the only reason why I'm out here is because you may seem like, oh, we're going to be one big happy family. And then that wasn't the case. And then you're going and I see you on social media with this one and that one. And I'm thinking, okay, so those are called context clues. At that point, that's why it's not his fault anymore. 
That's when you need to see as far as from the trees and say, no, I don't want that. But then she goes and says, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want it at all. I just want you to know that I know you ain't this. I, I wouldn't want you even if you were for free. I don't. <laughs> I said, dang. Then we see Cisco. Cisco's talking to his girl, Tierra, because they need to go and have a conversation with each other and let each other know, figure out what's really going on with their relationship. She goes and apologizes and says, oh, I'm so sorry, because he's like, you know, I got you to support you even after we've been wild now in here. She's like, I know I need to stop. I need to. But I thought that you were kind of on the whole bandwagon of, oh, I'm an alcoholic. Oh, I have a problem. I do think she has a problem as far as when she drinks, things can go left. There's a lot of people like that. Now, again, that doesn't constitute an alcoholic, but so i will back off from that for now for now because that is really strong to call someone an alcoholic like, this difference between someone who shouldn't drink and someone who drinks to excess all the time and their life is just in complete shambles tira's life's probably actually okay it's just because she wants certain things that's not happening for her it sets her out so then she um drinks and then when people see her she's like a mess but maybe at home she's actually coherent now again i did hear some stories where even at home she was a mess but i'm gonna try and give her the benefit of the doubt for right now for right now for this moment talking to cisco cisco's like i got you i'm here to support you i said this is bull i already smelt i already smelt it because we saw what happened in the past episode so now we have booby he's talking to fizz and here comes zell because Zell is going to go and help hook them up. That's the thing. Booby is going to get his own place to live. He's bringing in income again. So he's going to get his own place to live. And he... Uh, or he saved enough money so he'll get his own place to live. Whoever the situation is, I said, Oh, wow, Fizz, you're on here too, aren't you? <laughs> Zell's going to go and hook them up. He's going to be the wingman. That's the reason why he's going to be in this circle. That's They made very clear. That is the reason why they're going to be around Zell. So that he can hook them up with women. I said, okay. Okay. Got it. Next thing we know, we see Moniz. Not Moniz. We see Masika. She's having a conversation with her. Well, actually, Moniz was there. I was right. Moniz Neil was probably there. Along with Ray. And again, they're trying to reiterate the fact that, how dare you go and do that? Apparently, they've known Ray for a while. And so he's trying to figure out, I've known you for all this time. And then this dude who I don't know comes in and takes over. And I'm just looking at you guys like, really? 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 So then when he explains it that way, I say, okay. But then he does apologize and acknowledges. I brought in there because I wanted mess. I wanted mess. I didn't tell you about it. So that was the messed up part. So we're going to move on. And then his name is Vic, I think. Uh, Ray's boyfriend. And so then I was like, what? I, I don't know why. It, did, it threw me off too. I don't know if they didn't expect that because they looked shocked like, who the heck is this, first of all? And secondly, so that's your boyfriend? Like, it's like, obviously, we know you're gay, but I guess since we don't, it's not like these other relationships where we see the significant other, we don't really think much about it. And then I said, what the hell is going on? Oh, sorry. What the heck is going on? That, is it a big deal? No, of course not. I, it just threw me off. It just threw me off. So then he goes and leaves, and again, it's back to the same mess. It's the same mess of, oh, he's going to try and be Kumbaya Man Lord and copacetic. We know that's BS. We know that's not going to last for too long. They're going to try and give it a shot, but it's not going to last for that long. Then we have, again, this definitely was a filler episode to get to the mess. We get to, there was some good parts, but it was overall filler episode. It was uh, come to Jesus, okay, here we come, Kumbaya Man Lord. We're ending this storyline, this storyline, to expand on that one. Chanel's coast talks to Hazeline. And Chanel says, look, I know what's going on with there. It's not that I'm trying to go and be a uh, prima donna or anything like that. I just expected certain things because I wanted it to be done right. That's all. I wasn't trying to go and blow up your spot. I know you put it together, so I appreciate it. I heard that, you know, you came highly recommended, so I definitely wanted to work with you. You're still up and coming. It's the slight digs that, you know, it was truth, so you couldn't go and really debate it. But I was like, oh, yes, and you're up and coming. So I figured, you know, I'll work with you, give you a shot. I said, Hazel, she said, give you a shot. You're not going to, oh, okay, you really are on the Kumailot 
Lord Tip. And then Hazel says, you know what, I thought you were just some, like, hippie dippy prima Madonna who was like a valley girl who just wanted to do rap. But then I saw, you know, Mickey Baby, our mutual friend, and also heard about your story and that, you know, you, uh, you've gone through real stuff too and we're actually pretty similar and it's like yeah exactly that's why i was surprised when things went left with us because i thought we could have bonded together and take on you know some people who look down on us and so they had a nice i appreciate the fact that there was no reason to have actual beef hazel apologized for turning up when she realized you weren't really giving that energy but i was surprised that you were still trying to start something when the security was on you i bored i respected that I said oh lord this is oh we're putting their values in the wrong places people jesus so now zell's at the little dinner kumaya my lord session he doesn't know that what's his face lord what's, what's the child's face ray he's the same name uh more name's raymond but <laughs> Ray comes through. Zell's looking like, what the hell? Zell's looking like, this is really set me up. I'm thinking, yeah, Zell. This is how, this is how it feels to be set up. I will give you the benefit of the doubt because so far, you haven't really set anyone up. Um, like blind, um, blindsided them or anything like that. So I have to give it to you for that point. Oh, you so I know you guys know when you see ants and then you just feel like they're all over you sometimes they could be but oh I don't know where they even came from oh and they're the red ones so you know they'll bite oh we we'll have to go and like spray everything how did this happen thank god it's not in my room as far as I know because I'd be flipping but again what got flipped was Zell apologized Ray started to and then Ray said you know I thought everything was going to be good until I noticed that I apparently he looked at his boyfriend's DMs or his ex, how, whoever it is, someone close to him. And or yeah, maybe it was his ex boyfriend or whatever. It was like, oh, and you were in the DMs. And I'm thinking, okay, well, it's possible. Um so then he Zell was like, Well, you know what? Maybe because he wanted to suck my uh and so that pissed off Bray. Ray threw a drink, it actually more so hit Mia than necessarily Zell. So then Zell goes, throws a plate, starts to charge, because you know he's good for that. And then security gets Ray out of there, and he said, now wait a minute, because the girls are like, okay, after them being flabbergasted that that actually happened, then they took a breath, you know, it only took five seconds, and for them to collect themselves and realize, well, onto more important things. Let me look at the text messages, I mean the DMs. What? Who's DMs? And then it went further to, wait a minute, what it, <laughs> Zell, Zell needs to look this. So he looks like, oh, I know him. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I can see why he's mad. Yeah, I, I, I can see why he's mad. I, I would be too, you know, oh, that was with that, and that one me. <laughs> I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. I don't need to see what's going on. I just want to know what's going on. Bowie takes she should call to dinner she was like oh what a nice surprise you're paying anyway no she didn't do it like that oh but she was very i mean she bore a line was in shock you're moving out you're almost confused her buckled if you will like you're moving out. are you sure uh, you are oh okay drinks uh, uh, no, but really, no, but I'm not going to go and leave you high and dry as far as you have to figure out who's going to watch our child. I'll be there during the transition. So she was like, okay, cool, calm, collected. I do see that they have, they probably have a much better relationship now than when they were together. That happens sometimes. So I'm just happy that they could actually be a blended family so that their son isn't like, oh my God, mommy and daddy always fighting. No, they probably never ever actually had an argument in front of their son. I don't see them even being the type to be like, okay, if he's even close to me in the facility, he's gonna know what's going on. We're not together anymore, but we still have love for each other. More importantly, love for him. Oh, cute. So then, again, Fizz is back because he's having a conversation with AD. Everything's great. They also have their own blended family, and Fizz says, you know, at first, I wasn't so sure about uh, Moniz if she was really 
it was like, oh, now she's dating the girl? Mm, okay, this is Moniz, so you never know if it's a son or not. He didn't say that, but that's what he was implying. But then he said, oh, you know what? I appreciate you because you helped her out a lot. Girl, and then the confessionals. I, she's been so normal. We haven't had a single problem. AD, please never go. Please. <laughs> That's what mainly happened there. AD's saying, you know, this is great, but there's definitely some struggles and sex life is struggle. This is just like, oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to envision you two doing no, no. But you two need to work it out. You know, if you need to talk, I'm here. I understand her. And, you know, maybe you're talking about a certain topic and some people are looking at you like you're crazy. I get it. Don't worry. AD then goes and talks to Tiffany, her friend, and AD says, you know what, Monice isn't going anywhere, I need for you to have a conversation with her because you're my best friend, but I also, and she's my girlfriend. We're going to make this work. I just promise you, if you actually talk to her, she's not who you think she is. I said, she may be. I mean, this is Monice. You don't know who you're going to get on that day. You don't. So she may be. Uh, now there's this guy named Joe Exclusive. He's, I believe, a major, like, yeah, he's a big stylist in LA. And I'm just going to call him Joey. I'm going to call him Joey e because I'm not going to say Joe Exclusive. But this sounds corny to me. So I'll call him Joey. E. So Joey's the connect, and she's supposed to be hooking up Tierra. Cisco is there with her. Jo uh, Joe E has this style, has this model, and Sarah's is like, "Oh, look at you, brown bag. Oh, you look good. Mm -hmm. You doing the damn things? Like, thank you. Yeah, you look good too. Oh, this is, this is the time. Oh, look at that. So everything's cool. Everything's cool until Cisco's other girl. I'm going to her Brown Betty since I don't know her name right now." Brown Betty looks like, hey, gives him a hug. Tierra's like, what, the, what is this? What, no, 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 what is this? So then that's when it comes out that Cisco was seeing Brown Betty when Tierra was kind of acting a little wonky. Well, he's known Brown Betty for a while, and then he hit her up again once Tierra was acting kind of wonky. They weren't broken up, just acting kind of wonky. And so then Tierra wanted to go and pop off, but thankfully it wasn't at Brown Betty. They were verbally going at each other, like, oh, you, uh, you basically, no, 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 I'm the main, I'm the main. I said, no, 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 neither of you are the main. No, let's get that very clear. Brown Betty was crying. She's like, no, I just have time. I just be out of I wasn't expecting this. I said, so who set this up? Because the producers ain't niche. They really set this up on purpose for good television purposes. So we can see Cuckoo Tierra come out. Thank you. Cuckoo Tierra is out. She was like, you know, you know she could actually fight. So I said, Cisco, you may want to back away. You don't want those type of problems. Side so note, when Lucci was, you know, yelling at Jasmine, Jasmine was yelling at Lucci. I, then security stepped in. I said, okay, so who's the security protecting who? Because I don't know. The energy is really weird between them. But Tierra was like, look, you're not going to go and run game on me. I already know what you're trying to do. You have two people. Yet, instead of you going to be a man and because, oh, we're having problems, you went and we're doing stuff with someone else. Uh-uh, this is on you. I don't even care about her. I care about the fact that you're going doing this mess. So here's how this works. She needs to figure this stuff out without me. She gives him the middle finger. She gets in that, she's in that car. She goes away before she tries seeing them again. I said, oh, this is getting good. I don't believe any of it, but this is getting good. Please like, comment, subscribe.